Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of Weather by Billy Bean. Episode 4, today's date, September 30, 2022. New. This is a new YouTube channel for me. I have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share. Mike from around the world. Texas is next. Ian, for an Ian like hypercane. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscribers, BP Earth Watch, Israeli News Live, uh, Pastor Paul Bagley's interview with Mike from around the world, Mike Morales, AP News, Forbes. Okay, so let's get started. And we have uh, Israeli News Live is bringing this out. Now, Stephen Benoon, formerly with the CIA, now has a ministry, regularly gets updates from the Pentagon. Mike, no, uh, uh, Stephen knows stuff. Okay, he's talking about Ian being a hyper cane. Now, both Israeli News Live and Mike from around the world uh, regularly. Mike is regularly on Pastor Paul Begley's Thursday night uh, ministry show, but we believe Mike works for the NSA. Mike knows stuff too. So both of them for several years, along with the also suspicious observers, a science-based space weather program, and my background is uh, in science, life earth science. I used to teach high school science. So, yeah, I'm familiar with these um, space weather, space uh, uh, event cycles that go on, and, and we're currently in one. And then there was um, God who in 2020, yeah, was talking about the earth is expanding, magma in the earth is rising, and at that time God said pay attention to the magma rising along the tectonic plate boundaries. But there, so there are multiple factors uh, combining to produce hypercanes, which were both Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live and Mike from around the world have been predicting. So it appears that Ian could have been uh, like the first uh, one uh, we're seeing. And then Mike from around the world is predicting the next one that's currently developing to come into Texas. So I'm in Texas. So I'll get to that. All right. So... Uh, Stephen says the hurricane hunters were able to drop a new type of drone into uh, Ian as it was coming on shore, and they um, registered 216 mile per hour winds at 2,100 feet above the ground. So, Stephen is calling it a hyper cane. So, now we have this. Let me get my pages separated. Okay. Yeah. And currently, it came into um, like a Fort Myers area. And then uh, it was supposed to go up into this area. Mike from around the world said that was based on the temperature of the water. It was a little bit cooler here, so the storm was steered in this area. It came across um, Delray Beach, is further down the coast. And now it's going to uh, re-strengthen and come in uh, as a hurricane to, like, South Carolina. Now, it came in as a Category 4, but Stephen is believing it's going to be upgraded to a 5 category. 
Okay. And we had reports of uh, when it came in here, it came in at uh, 100 miles per hour or 160 kilometers. And then it brought in a storm surge. This is when the ocean water rises up. So the storm surge in this area was 18 feet. And it, on this side, it's supposed to have a storm surge of six feet or two meters. So I guess this would be uh, about six meters then. Okay. And then re-strengthen from a to a cat one or two hurricane, which is based on wind speed. 75 miles per hour wind speed is a category one. And then it's to go into South Carolina, North Carolina, all the way up to Virginia, Brush, Tennessee, uh, cause uh, flash flooding in this area as a category one with a storm surge in this area of seven feet. Okay, at high tide. So plus high tide is going to bring it up to 7 to 12 feet, which is 2 to 6 meters. And that, some of that information is coming from BP Earthwatch. Okay. So Ian is one of the largest and strongest hurricanes ever recorded. It came in to this area Wednesday on September 28, 2022. It took out uh, power uh, down to 3 million people. And I have a uh, video I'll link for you from Florida McKee showing a small uh, portable generator that looked very interesting. Okay. One of the things it uh, did, it went into an area, Port Charlotte, and into a hospital, Fawcett Hospital, that completely flooded out the first two floors. And then it was a four-story building, and in operating area, it took that roof off. And so they were able to... Uh, evacuate the people they actually had an operating uh, in an ICU area then they uh, consolidated all the patients and people like in part of the hospital on two floors so yeah that's going on now uh, it also took out there's um, uh, apparently an island close to uh, Sanibel Island that had a causeway that linked it with Florida, and that's been partially taken out. 18-foot storm surge and the rain. In this area, the rain was 10 to 20 inches of rain along Florida, which is 25 to 50 centimeters. So we can see this was a devastating hurricane. Okay, now I'll give you some additional information on this. All right, so we have, we have Florida. We've got uh, South America is down in this area, South America. Now... And when the storm was, the hurricane was somewhere in this area, Mike Morales, independent thinker, on, he does weather, 
saw uh, just briefly uh, because that's what he does to prepare his shows a an energy laser like en energy come out of South America and hit Ian and uh, Mike described it as being rainbow colored I think I still have his his video I'll link that for you also uh, so we have Florida we have Ian okay so Mike from around the world knew about Ian one week before it formed to come in to hit Florida oh and again we believe Mike works for the NSA no stuff and also one of the things he says that it did when it came in was it destroyed Intel sounds like deep state Intel a location and took out trillions of dollars of equipment so that's going on now Mike is predicting uh, so here's Africa and we have a new area developing and Mike is predicting it's going to be like Ian and it's going to come into Texas but it's going to be based on the Gulf of Mexico the water temperatures so he's saying that originally it was supposed to come into Tampa but it went into Fort Myers and he's saying the landfall was based on the water temperature. So we can look at that when this storm begins developing and coming into uh, Texas. So I'll show you what's going on. So we have Africa and we have a a storm developing there's we go into Texas Florida Gulf of Mexico of course we know we have the Caribbean down here all right so today 930 2022 the National Hurricane Center is putting out this information that this area in the next five days has a 60% chance of development and that it's predicted to move west northwest which would take it in this area so and then again Mike is saying where it would go would depend on the water temperature so yeah now we know what to to pray for against and I have a short of weather prayer to end of this um, segment it's based on General Patton's weather prayer from World War II Father grant us fair weather arm your soldiers with your power guide us from victory to victory and crush our enemies and we thank you Father Son Jesus who many call Yeshua and the Holy Spirit Amen and I said to my family and friends, remain steady out there. Continue to pray. God is in charge and he is on the move. I love you and I'll see you soon.